Hello everybody. In the previous video, we studied 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. This time we're going to study 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. Let's start by sketching our triangle. Let this triangle be triangle ABC with the angles 30, 60 and 90. If across 30 degree is X amount, then the hypotenuse will be 2X amount and across the 60 degree will be x times root 3 amount. So this ratio, which is 1 to root 3 to 2, will never change. So using this relation, we can find all missing length. So given this relation, we can make given and find chart. So given across the 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree, given 60 degree, find the rest and given 90 degree, find the rest. If you're given across 30 degree, then from 30 degree to 60 degree, we multiply by root 3. So multiply by root 3. And if we know across 30 degree, to find across 90 degree, we just multiply by 2. So let me say just double it or multiply by 2. If we know across 60 degree, to find across 30 degree, we divide by root 3. So from here to here, we multiply by root 3. And the opposite, from here to here, we divide by root 3. And given 60 degree, we first can find across 30 degree and then multiply it by. So we can do two steps operation here. First divide by root 3 and multiply by 2. So divide by root 3 and then double it. Given 90 degree, so divide by 2, you find across 30 degree. And then here divide by 2 and multiply by root 3. So given hypotenuse, we divide it by 2 and then multiply it by root 3 to find across the 60 degree. Let's do a few examples. So this is our 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And the angles can be in different positions so just check them carefully so triangle can be upside down left right so first label and check carefully let's see given across 30 degree as 5 so how can we find the rest from here to here across the 60 degree is 5 times root 3 because we multiply by root 3 and the hypotenuse will be double of this, 10. Let's check another scenario. Again, first check the angles. This is across 30 degree, this is across 60 degree. This time, let's see, we are given across 60 degree as 8. From here to across 30 degree, we divide it by root 3. And we know how to rationalize it multiply it by root 3 over root 3, so 8 root 3 over 3. So the simplest radical form is 8 root 3 over 3. And across the 90 degree, which is our hypotenuse, we double this number. So 16 root 3 over 3. Let's see another scenario. This time we are given hypotenuse, which is across 90 degree. And let's say it is given 20. So across 30 degree will be the half of the hypotenuse, which is 10. And across 60 degree will be 10 times root 3. Okay, so let's see real examples and SAT kind of problems. 
let's check problem number one. We are given 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. We know the ratios. So we are given hypotenuse. We are given across 90 degree. So across 30 degree is the half of this because we know the relation between hypotenuse and the shortest length is double or half. And across the 60 degree will be 6 times root 3. Problem number 2. We are given again across 90 degree, which is hypotenuse. So across 30 degree is the half of the hypotenuse. Half of 72 is 36. And across the 60 degree will be 36 times root 3. Let's identify the angles first. This is our 30 degree. So we are given across 30 degree. So hypotenuse will be double of this which is 10 and across 60 degree will be 5 times root 3. This time we are given across 30 degree again. So hypotenuse will be double of this which is 26 root 3 and across 60 degree will be shortest length times root 3. So this is 13 root 3 times root 3. And we know that root 3 times root 3 is just 3. So 13 times 3 is 39. Let's check problem number 5. We are given across 90 degree, which is hypotenuse. So the shortest length, shortest leg, will be half of this, 23 over 2. And across 60 degree will be 23 over 2 times root 3. Let's check this problem. We are given across 30 degree. So across 90 degree will be double of this, which is 12 root 3. And across 60 degree will be 6 root 3 times root 3, which is 6 times 3, which is 18. Let's check problem number 7. We are given across 60 degree. So from here to across 30 degree, we divide it by root 3. So 5 root 3 divided by root 3 is just 5. And hypotenuse will be double of that, which is 10. Let's check this problem. We are given across 60 degree. From 60 degree to hypotenuse, and from 60 degree to 30 degree. So from 60 degree to 30 degree, we divide it by root 3. And from here to here, multiply by 2. So we're going to divide 9 by root 3. And we need to rationalize by multiplying both top and bottom by root 3. So 9 root 3 over 3. And we can simplify 9 divided by 3 is 3, so 3 root 3 is the answer. And we're going to double this 6 root 3. Let's check problem number 9. We are given across 60 degree. And from here to 30 degree side, we divide it by root 3. So we obtain 11. And from here to hypotenuse, we double it. Here we are given hypotenuse and across the 30 degree will be the half of this and across the 60 degree will be 39 over 2 times root 3. Let's check hard problems. Let's check out this problem. We are given triangle ABC and we're going to find length AD which is here. So given the angle 30 degree, and this is 90 degree because they are supplementary to supplementary angles, 90 plus 90. And this is automatically 60 because sum of all three angles in one triangle is 180. So this is also 30 degree. We know the ratio in 30, 60, 90 triangle. We are given across 90 degree, 
so across 30 degree will be the half of this which is 6 we know that height is the line bisector so this is going to be 6 as well we can also connect this with this is going to be 6 root 3 because across 60 degree and in this triangle if this is 6 root 3 from here to here we divide it by root 3 so this is 6 as well so the answer is 6 let's write another problem 30 60 90 special right triangles are mostly about equilateral triangles so let's make up a question given an equilateral triangle in an equilateral triangle our possible scenarios are given height finding the sides or area or perimeter or given one of those area side perimeter finding the height let's closely focus on equilateral triangle we know that all angles are 60 degree in the equilateral triangle and the all the sides are equal as well and the height of equilateral triangle is the line bisector so it divides the base evenly so let's do one possible question given site finding the area perimeter and height everything and let me label this triangle for our reference so AD is our height and we know that these are congruent BD is congruent to DC and this is 90 degree and we know that this is 60 60 and 30 30 because given ABC is an equilateral triangle if you're given one of the side as 10 find the height perimeter and the area across the 90 degree is given 10 so across 30 degree will be half of this which is 5 so this is automatically 5 we know that sides are congruent so this is 10 as well so the perimeter will be 10 plus 10 plus 10 30 and the height will be across the 60 degree which is 5 times root 3 which is 5 root 3 so the height is 5 root 3 and the area of triangle ABC is base times height divided by 2 or 1 half base times height is the general formula for the triangle now our base is 10 and our height is 5 root 3 so area will be 5 times 5 root 3 divided by 2 so it's going to be 25 root 3 over 2 unit square is the area so those are the all possible questions that you might come across for 3069 the special right triangle thank you for watching please keep practicing more